Hi, my name is Dylan Money. I'm the Director of Communications for Our Horizons. In our last video, we showed you how to pour the concrete into the mold. And in this video, we're going to show you how to demold the filter from the mold. So we let the filter sit overnight. And the first step is to find a scrap piece of wood, lay it down, and that's going to help me flip this so it can be right side up. So grab this. side and flip it right side up. Okay, so the first piece you're going to remove is the base. Um, so this is part Q of the mold. Uh, remember that was the first piece that we put down yesterday when we were assembling everything. Um, so you can take like a chisel um, or a crowbar or something. You want to just sort of you know, kind of loosely start getting in there to remove it. Um, and this one, and then you can just pull it off here. Um, so you can see there's some concrete in here. So you can kind of clear that away. What I'll do at the very end is clean every piece off with a um, with a wire brush because you just want to make sure that there isn't a ton of excess concrete. Um, I'm just going to put that to the side. Uh, kind of break away. Some of this extra concrete. Remember yesterday um, our mix was a bit wet towards the end um, and you can kind of see that in here. Uh, in the... Okay so the next step is to get rid of um, the dagger board. So the dagger board that's part P um, and Remember yesterday we put it all the way at the bottom of the mold and so that now when we flip it over it's right at the top. Uh, so what I'm going to do, um, you can use a crowbar, uh, but this is sort of a, I think a, a better method. Um, you can loop some rope, so we have, we drilled a hole in our dagger board. Um, we have a lot, a lot of rope here. Um, Okay, so I'm going to take this rope and loop it through the hole that's in the dagger board. I'm going to do it twice just for, for some extra support. Okay, so um, as you can see, we have the dagger board out. Uh, what we did was we tied the rope around uh, through the hole and then over a piece of wood, um, and then we got some other scrap wood, and we just used it like a lever to pull this up, um, and it just comes right out. Um, it shouldn't, this, the dagger board should be the most difficult piece to remove from the mold. Um, so it shouldn't be super easy to get out. Uh, so you, you should expect it to be a little bit difficult, um, but uh, and it will require some force, but it shouldn't be you know, super, super hard to get out. So this took us about five minutes to get it out of the center um, with using this, this pulley system. So now that the dagger board's out, the next step is to remove the other pieces of the inner core. So we're gonna start with uh, the pieces of L and M and K and N. Um, the ones that, that have the Y pieces on them. Uh, so I'm going to take this piece of scrap wood and my mallet and just use it to hit um, the, the sides of this, these pieces. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to do the same thing to the other one. Okay, so after you've got the L and K pieces out, you're going to work on the E and F pieces. Um, we're going to do the same thing using scrap wood and my rubber mallet. You want to tap in the ears first. Okay. Do the other side. These other hinged pieces, these flaps. 
And then the last thing is to hit the bigger piece in. Uh, sometimes what will happen is it might get like stuck towards the bottom. Um, maybe just do some leakage of some concrete seeped in. So you might need to take like a rebar or a chisel or something and um, get down in there to unstick the bottom. Um, and then just pull it up. The last piece of the inner core that you want to remove is the lid, and that's part O. Uh, remember in the manual, um, we talk about letting the nut sit halfway on the bolt, and you don't want to tighten that nut all the way. And the reason for that is so that when you're taking it out, um, I'm going to use this hammer, and it's going to go, um, I'm going to use it against the bolt as leverage to just pop out the lid. So if it's tightened all the way, then you won't have enough leverage to remove it. Okay, so here's our lid down in there. Uh, you probably will need a light or something. This hammer is too, oh no it's not, okay. Almost too big to get in there, okay. okay. There you go. So you just pop it out like that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and loosen up all these bolts on the front side so that we can start taking out the outer shell. So we've gone ahead and removed all of the nuts from this front side of the bolts. And we just loosened the nuts on the back because we're gonna keep pieces um, B, C, and D together as one piece, but we're gonna have to remove this. So um, we took the nuts off of here, so I'm gonna pull this top piece off. Um, okay, you keep the, keep the bolts in here if you want. If you're going to reuse the, the mold again soon, I would just keep it in here. Okay, the next thing is to remove the nose. Okay, I'm just going to pull this off. It should, the nose should be pretty easy to come off. Um, remember, our mix is pretty wet, so that could be contributing to it. I'm just going to slowly lift this up. Okay. There's our nose. Got a little bit of breakage at the top here, um, but overall it's looking pretty good. Um, again, we could we could fix this with some mortar. It's not too bad. Um, it's partly right. There's a lot of aggregate that sort of settled at the top here. Um, so maybe we didn't tamp enough, or our mix is too rocky, um, and we use quick quick read on this. So we use the the ready made concrete, not what we would recommend in the manual for this. Um, so that can be part of it, um, that's why this is so rocky. Um, okay, so the next thing is, I'm going to just loosen up um, all the bolts on part A. Um, because I'm doing this by myself, uh, I'm going to use a rubber mallet to sort of loosen up the bolts a bit. So ideally, you'd have another person that can tilt this back, okay? And then um, you pull this off and then down through the tube. Okay, so we got the, all the front off. Um, and now we're just gonna keep these three back pieces together, uh, sort of just slide them off the back of the filter here. And remember, we, we loosened up the bolts here. We didn't take them off completely, but we loosened it up so that these are movable a little bit. It'll make it easier for you to remove it from the back of the filter. Um, so overall, this is uh, a decent looking filter. Like I said, the, the mix, the, the ready mix that we use, there's a lot of aggregate in it, and you can see that um, all of it kind of fell to the corners here. Um, what we would do if we were going to use this filter, you know, in the field and a beneficiary's home is you would, you know, put mortar um, along sort of these rough edges to kind of smooth it out and then we would paint over the whole thing. Uh, okay, so this filter is still pretty weak. You can see 
Um, like it's pretty easy for certain parts of it to like kind of come off. Um, what you want to do is let it cure for another week or so, depending on um, you know kind of climate you're in. So it might only take um, a few days for it to finish curing, uh, but we say a week to be safe. Uh, what we're going to do is fill this all with water uh, that helps speed up the curing process and it also helps you see if there's any leaks or holes in your filter. Um, so when we fill this up, if there's a lot of water coming out the bottom, that means that we have some sort of leak that we need to either patch up um, or we might just have to make a new, new filter if it's too leaky. Okay, so that is the demolding process. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to email us if you have any questions.